right, here he is, the owner of four famous burger locations throughout Brazil, but more saliently for this audience, the King of Rio, the former two-time UFC featherweight champion, the one, the only, Jose Aldo Jr. The only thing better than that hamburger is <laughs> Jose Aldo's fighting ability. He can strike with anybody. The leg kicks, Jose Aldo has a combination that he's done from the start of his career. Left body shot, right leg kick, and nobody ever checks it from the knockout of Jeremy Stevens on that beautiful liver shot. To finish in Moicano, Jose Aldo has a resume that is unmatched by many, which is why people consider him the greatest fighter 145 has ever seen. Yeah, a lot of people buried Jose Aldo after the back-to-back -back losses against Max Holloway in 2017. He came back in a big way and has reestablished himself as a bona fide featherweight contender. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is forced to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Aldo gets hit by that leg kick. Trying to hammer that big leg. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Real quick leg kick. Nice straight punch. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, 
these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh, it looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Watch for that uppercut. That jab is fast. Look at that, that jab. Oh. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's wise to get those hands up. And he landed the right hand there. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. More than one, more than one. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Just over three minutes to go. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. Got clip with the right hand. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Left hook counter. Just misses there with the left. There by Alda. Right hook to the body. Oh, oh Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Wow, that right punch has been a money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can route. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Ooh, what a punch. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Let's focus now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Pretty good right hand. Leg kick checked effectively there by Lee. Plus right hand is true. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Final seconds. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery, <laughs> wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. Come on. Let's get this together now, all right? You've been here before, and you're going to overcome this. You're down right now. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after the guns and blazes. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh. Punch coming, it's blocked. Yes. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice 
strike landed there by Aldo. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, big left hand there. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just missing on the uppercut there. Beautiful kick. Aldo's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Aldo gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. 79 total strikes have landed for Jose Aldo landing with 37% accuracy thus far tonight against Jose Alba. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice body kick. Bit. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Just misses with the straight right. Let's go, take yeah, Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Beautiful strike. Aldo gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Nice right hand. Looking to land the leg kick now. Nice shot moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Good punch land. Leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Aldo. Just missed with the left there. Oh, counters with a beautiful left hand. Well, missed on that one. 30 seconds to go in round two. Lunges forward with a left there. Well, he continues. This fight's gonna go. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent got him going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. There continue to be openings there. He targeted it effectively earlier in the fight, and the defense hasn't prevented him from doing so. If it's not broken, no need to fix it. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your 
UFC. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. There's no give on that leg kick. <laughs> Head off the center line, slips the punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Keep doing it again. Do it again. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Good punch. Aldo gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. He got the leg kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. Then you're in a lot of trouble. Able to check the high kick. Three minutes to go. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Yes, they heard him in the last round. See? Oh, that's the biggest shot of the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Back and forth we go. Way to hide that leg kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice one, two there. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, nice punch there by Al. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Watch me for the body. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. Aldo's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Big punch landed through the middle. I need you to go forward. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Straight punch lands. He blocked the punch. Oh, that's a good right hand. And just misses with that big right hand. What a tricky head kick. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. How about that chin? Nice leg kick land. Twenty seconds left.
right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Ooh, what a punch. Wow, huge head kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Big leg kick land. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Goes to the body there. You gotta whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting for the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Nice sneaky head kick. Nice loop and punch. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Big body to land. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Nice leg kick. Three minutes to go in the round. Big kick land. Rips the body there. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Aldo. Great punch. Beautiful body. Slips the punch nicely there. Beautiful right hook counter. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big kick land. Two minutes now to go. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Big punch land. Ooh. Look at the force behind that leg. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Aldo. Nice punch there by Lee. There's no tell on that leg kick. Under a minute now to go.
20 seconds left. Visibly limping here. All right, there's the clapper. 10 seconds to go. Swing and a miss by Lee. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Avoid the left. Hey, oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. Real nice body kick land. Aldo's kick is blocked. And because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Misses with the left hook. Head kick. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Big punch land. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Three minutes now to go round five. That was just nice strike. Keep your hands up. Use your Oh, tags it with the straight. Nice job there by Alda. kick now that one's no good nice kick landed there by Lee. huge block there beautiful leg kick throw under two minutes now to go in the fight well he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range Nice head kick. Aldo gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Blocks the shot. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Trying to establish that jab once again. Kick to the body by Aldo. Here, look at the size of that bruise on his body. Big 
big leg kick land. Some nice back and forth action here. Under a minute now to go in this one. Caught the kick. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Went for the inside leg kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Spinning back fist. seconds left. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Beautiful. Big body kick. Final seconds of the fight. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward, and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you gotta think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. How the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48 47, 49 46, and 49 46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Jose Aldo all right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.